what up everybody? Uh, Stevie Breach coming to you. Fresh Jack Swagger news right off the press. Somebody sent it to me on YouTube in a private message. I apologize. I uh, went right to the, the news story and uh, I forgot who sent it to me. But I do appreciate it. Every time Jack Swagger's news uh, breaks, I always get dumped off in my YouTube box and on Twitter. Um, but I guess the news of the day is Jack Swagger likes the pot. I guess this is newsworthy. I uh, Honestly, by looking at the guy, I wouldn't think it. Um, but uh, that's just me, especially from reading his uh, tweets and stuff like that. But if that's the reason why he's getting buried on TV and not getting a push, um, I guess. I mean, the, the story was from Russell Zone. They said that he's not going to get fired, but they're just uh, they're tired of... Um, you know, um, giving him fines and him not caring, so they uh, just basically just took anything he did on TV away from him, uh, which is pretty fucking stupid in my mind. I've never really uh, figured this out. If you go back to last year, uh, they had the suspensions of R Truth and I believe Evan Bourne for faking uh, for smoking fake marijuana spice or whatever it is called. But um, I guess it was proved that that down in Miami didn't make that guy eat that guy's face or anything like that. But uh, that was the the rumor at the at the start of it, but um, I have I have no clue why you can get away basically with smoking the real stuff, but if you smoke the uh, fake synthetic stuff, which is probably better for you in the long run, that's what gets you suspended for. But at least now I have something to look at and uh, realize why Jack Swagger was not getting his uh, his rightful push. The guy can wrestle, and I don't mean like. Pro wrestle. I mean, like, really wrestle. And when it comes down to it, um, WWE, I don't know why they've gotten away from this. You know, if you go back to when they were really creating real stars back in the day, some of the biggest stars they've made in the last long while are Brock Lesnar and Kurt Angle. Both those guys were, you know, real wrestlers uh, throughout college. Kurt Angle went to the Olympics, was a gold medalist. And um, there, was a, there was a time they were signing up these wrestlers. Shelton Benjamin is another guy. And, you know, they were looking at collegiate wrestlers that they can turn into, you know, pro wrestlers. And it worked for a long damn time. And now, look at the guys they're signing and bringing into FCW. I mean, it does not make any sense. They're going back to just signing the biggest, um, you know, college football players they can find that have no mobility, have no, nothing to do uh, in the ring. They, they have no reason to be there. And they think that they could, you know, shine up, and, uh, you know, basically a big, a big old rock and turn it into a diamond. It hasn't worked, and uh, that's why we haven't seen any stars come out of FCW in the last little while, uh, besides the guys they've stolen right from Ring of Honor. Uh, I don't think WWE has found their own unique talent in a long time. There is no gold out there like Kurt Angle or Brock Lesnar that they've you know basically looked out and scouted on their own and brought, brought in. For some reason, under John Laronitis, if you're a former, you know, um, if you're parents were a former professional wrestler they brought you in and gave you a deal and uh, gave you a fair shot um, I, I think that was all there and I just really signed yes they found diamonds and in, in guys like Cody Rhodes and guys like um, Randy Orton but if you really break it down and you really look at it how many other guys were they brought in like um, fucking, uh, the Samoans uh, their kid uh, that was in uh, Legacy for a hot minute uh, then you had uh, uh, Deuce uh, was uh, Jimmy Snuka's son. You guys can put Tamina uh, in that group as well. I mean, there's been tons of these former, you know, um, you know, wrestlers, kids that got brought in that they got a fair shot. But I don't know. Jack Swagger likes the pot. I love it. Newsworthy. Stevie Breach does not like the pot. You love to put that in all my videos. When I make the videos, I'm fucking tired. That's why my eyes are red. Um, but that's about it. Good times, everybody. Swagger likes the pot. Yeah, come on.